Hi, and welcome to our discussion today on the empirical rule. Now, if you have data that's normally distributed with a mean and a standard deviation, you can use the empirical rule to help you understand the distribution of your data. Let's look at the slide. What we're seeing here is the empirical rule tells us that if you have data that's normally distributed, and what that means is symmetric or a bell-shaped distribution, the empirical rule tells us that 68% of your data will be within plus or minus one standard deviation of the mean. 68% of your data is going to be within plus or minus one standard deviation of the mean. 95% of your data will be within plus or minus two standard deviations of the mean. And then the empirical rule finally tells us that within plus or minus three standard deviations of our mean, 99.7% of all data are going to be encompassed within this range of values. Now, the empirical rule is great. It's very handy, and we can use it to help us compute a range of values and probabilities associated with that range of values. Let's look at some data. Say, for example, we have some data with a mean, with a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 3. We can use the empirical rule to find the range of data. Plus or minus one standard deviation tells us that the mean, which is 20, plus 3, and then 20 minus 3, tells us that 68% of our data is going to be from 17 to 23, given this distribution. So we can assign a probability. 68% of our data will be between 17 and 23. Or to look at it in another way, you would have a 68% chance of drawing one value at random, and it would be between 17 and 23. So let's go back to our camera and look at the next step. Two standard deviations. 20 plus 2 times 3 is equal to 26. And then 20 minus 2 times 3, which is our standard deviation, is equal to 14. The empirical rule tells us that 95% of your data is going to range between 14 and 26. Now, these values are often referred to as the typical minimum or maximum values. They encompass 95% of your data. So let's look at the last step in the empirical rule. 20 plus 3 times our standard deviation is equal to 29, and then 20 minus 3 times our standard deviation is equal to 11. The empirical rule tells us that 99.7% of all of our data is going to be encompassed between 11 and 29, given the parameters of this distribution. This empirical rule is very handy, especially when you want to find probabilities associated with ranges of your data. It can be used with normally distributed data, with data that's symmetric or bell-shaped. I hope our discussions today on the empirical rule has helped you to understand better how to use it when you have normally distributed data. Thanks for joining me, and have a nice day.